Concerning the impending decision to overturn Roe versus Wade, we got action. This week, Politico published a report that claims to be the opinion of the Supreme Court stating that it would overturn Roe versus Wade. Supreme Court Chief Justice John Roberts confirmed the authenticity of the draft opinion from the court that would o- overturn abortion rights. Although he said the draft does not represent the court's final decision. Hmm. Then why write it down? The draft of the Supreme Court opinion sent the world of women's rights activism into a tailspin, even though we've known for quite a while that overturning Roe versus Wade was a possibility, but I think we underestimated its plausibility. If Roe versus Wade is overturned, it will leave the federal government out of protecting access to abortion, and all laws concerning abortion access will be left to each state to decide. This means that each state can decide to ban access to abortion and contraceptives as it sees fit. And eight states already have these types of laws in effect right now. Why is access to abortion even a question for the state or the federal government to address or protect? Well, in a patriarchal world, women aren't deemed to be capable of making decisions for ourselves. So the government believes it should make decisions for us. What do women think about the possibility of handing over the right to access to abortion to the states? Let's talk to three feisty women who have something to say about the issue. Today we have Heather R. Bellicosa, a feminist activist and the author of The Punishings, which depicts a world without abortion rights. We also have Leah M. Forney, the CEO of Purposely Faithful Coaching and Consulting Firm and eight times published author. Finally, we have Sam Crunkleton, who currently serves on the board of the Henderson Democratic Club in Nevada, the Nevada Federation of Democratic Women, and she is in the Emerge Nevada class of 2022. Welcome to the Feisty Ladies. I am very excited to have you represent the opinions of women everywhere. What do you think about the possibility of Roe versus Wade being overturned this summer? 69% of Americans do not want Roe overturned. So we're being held by a fringe minority um, who is being woven right into the fabric of our society. The lawmakers don't even understand the bills that they're passing. They're just so eager to pass them for their yeah. supporters. They're even passing bills that would prevent the removal of an ectopic pregnancy, which has zero chance of being viable and would just kill the mother if not taken care of. So I like to think of it as like an old argument that gun supporters have, which is they say restricting guns doesn't prevent guns in our society, it prevents legal guns. And if you just take the word guns and replace it with the word abortion, it's the same thing. Restricting abortion does not prevent abortion, it prevents legal, safe abortion. I did a lot of research for a book called The Punishings, and all of that is now coming true, where people are using herbal remedies. We're going to have to go back to that. We're going to have to go back to Janes, who were women in an underground network who were trying to help people with abortions when they weren't legal. And a lot of women were killing themselves over this. And finally, I would like to think that this doesn't stop with the overturning of Roe v. Wade. I think this is the start of it. I think that they're taking a book right out of fascism, where it's nationalism, machismo, disdain, yep. intellectualism, the intertwining of religion and government, which has been going on for way too long. And that, I don't think Roe is the end game. I think that Roe is only the beginning. I couldn't agree even more, Heather. Let me tell you something. I, as a black woman and a sexual assault survivor, I am pissed as shit that they are even thinking about that because what they don't think about is those babies that are conceived as a result of being raped yes. and that is what's pissing me the f- off because if you're going to overturn roads versus way then what are you going to do for mothers who have had children conceived out of rape you're not even thinking about that and on top of that you as white America or the government do not have the right to tell me what I can and cannot do with my body. I have a right. It is my choice. And I think overturning Roe versus Wade is a bunch of bullshit. I think we are going to go right back and history is going to start to repeat itself all over again. And it's horrible to think that this is happening right now in 2022. It is absolutely crazy. Absolutely. I, I can't agree with both of you more. Um, And I just want to be very, very clear with everyone here today. The decision to overturn Roe versus Wade by the Supreme Court is unacceptable. It's preposterous. It's outrageous. It's been held president for decades and people's lives literally depend on it. As you guys said before, we're not stopping women from having abortions. We're only ending safe abortions. Um, I'm fortunate enough to live here in the state of Nevada where we're considered a safe haven state 
in terms of access to abortion care. And we'll be, and I know that we're going to be seeing an influx from neighboring states as their trigger laws go into effect after the Supreme Court decision. Basically, now is not the time to sit here quietly and just wait to see what happens. I'm yeah. sick of it. We need to check out the laws in your state, call your elected officials to urge them to take action to codify Roe versus Wade and basically make this decision irrelevant by the Supreme Court. We need to donate to Planned Parenthood, help spread yeah. the word to help find abortion care. Basically, we need to take action now. At the end of the day, women matter. Damn and right, we matter. It's my body to be all where it's my choice. I'm tired of being treated as a second class sitting and waiting for somebody to make a decision for me. I'm intelligent, I'm capable of knowing how to make decisions for myself and others. I'm not going to ask for permission, asking for inclusion, asking for equality. Patriarchy is dead and gone, and it's about time we all accept it. When you take away my right to have control over my body, you are treating me like a slave all over again. I am free.